Well, here I am at the Hammered Silver site. Second trip out here with the GPX. Uh, I've been here about two hours. I haven't dug much of anything but iron. And I had a deep, deep signal and finally was able to pop it out of the hole. And I looked over here to the side and lo and behold, look at that monster. That is a big, big coin. Big silver. Oh my gosh, it's another... I believe that's a half crown. Things huge. No date on it, but I can probably ID it from the markings on it. I'm gonna get the magnifying glass out and see if I can get a better shot of it here. I don't know if you can see that any better or not, but uh Okay, sorry about that, but my batteries happened to go dead on me right at the worst possible time. And in the meantime, I've taken a, taken a closer look at this, and it looks like it's actually a shilling, but it's awful big for a shilling. But I can see the 12 on it, so it's definitely a British shilling. Let me try the uh, magnifier again and see if that'll help help you see this thing. Yeah, I think that's going to show it a little bit better. Let me flip it over here real quick. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's a Charles the first or James the first. So I'll have to figure that out when I get back. Actually, I found this in the same area I found the other two about a week ago. <clears throat> I just started going over in a different direction, going slow, and this one actually was a fairly decent sounding signal. And because it was so such a big coin and only fit about 15 inches down, it came in pretty strong. So anyway, I'm liking it. And uh, let me get back to digging and see if I can pop a few more of these out today.